In this video, we're gonna have a look at how do we convert from an ordinary number into scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way of writing really big numbers or really small numbers, and will involve you converting that really big number and a really small number into a number between one and 10, and multiplying that number between one and 10 by a power of 10. That power to the power of 10 can either be positive or negative. So let's have a look at how do we convert from an ordinary number into scientific notation. So to convert into scientific notation from an ordinary number, there are three steps. The first step is to move your decimal point until you make a significant number between one and 10. The second step is to count the number of places you moved your decimal. How many places you moved your decimal becomes your index when you write in scientific notation form. And the last step is going to be to write that number in scientific notation. So when we're converting into scientific notation, if we are moving our decimal place to the right, then our power is going to be a negative. If we are moving our decimal place to the left, our power is going to be a positive. So let's have a look at some examples of how do we convert into scientific notation. So I want to convert each of the following into scientific notation. The first one is 3,506. So I want to write that number, 3,506, putting in my decimal place. And if it's not already there, it is going to be at the end of the number. And now I want to move that decimal place so I can make a one number between one and 10. So I move it one, two, three places into here, and my number becomes 3.506, and I'm timesing that by 10 to the power of three. And that's because I moved my decimal place back three places, and I moved it to the left, so that means my power is going to be positive. So, 3506 in scientific notation is 3.506 times 10 to the power of 3. The next number I want to convert into scientific notation is 0 0.0034. So writing that number 0 0.0034 and having a look at moving my decimal place to make a number between 1 and 10. So one, two, three, moving it into here. So my number becomes 3.4 times 10 to the power of negative three. Now it is negative three because I'm moving my decimal place one, two, three places to the right. And when I move it to the right, it becomes a negative index C. So 0 0.0034, as in scientific notation, is 3.4 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So my next example is 0 0.0000435, and I want to convert that into scientific notation. So I'm going to write that number, 435 and then move my decimal place until I make a number between one and 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the number I have made is going to be 4.35, and there's gonna be times 10 to the power of negative seven, because I moved my decimal place seven places to the right, so that's gonna make it a negative power. So 0 0.0000435 in scientific notation is going to be 4.35 times 10 to the power of negative seven. And my last example, I wanna write 25 million in scientific notation. So 
but writing my number. Now, because my original number doesn't have a decimal place, it's going to be at the end. And then I want to move that to I make a number between 1 and 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I've moved my decimal place seven places to the left. So that is going to become 2.5 times 10 to the power of positive seven. So 25 million in scientific notation is 2.5 times 10 to the power of seven. That is some examples of how do we convert from an ordinary number into scientific notation.